Hey guys, this is MJH Park, and in this video, I'll be discussing the mid left position of the classic bridge hold on Atrium Survival Mode. I'll be highlighting upon tips, strategy, personal preferences, and basically what's going on in my mind during the hold. So, without any delay, let's begin. Having multi directional sound is very important for this position. Sound is your second pair of eyes. You'll see me react throughout this video based on what I hear. For example, right here, I hear a jockey trying to get through the left closet door, so I prepare myself for it. You will hear smokers below or around you, so you'll have to act accordingly in order to avoid being smoked off the bridge. Multi-directional sound is especially important for hearing anything coming quickly from the left side. You can get a pretty good idea directionally of where the tank will be coming from just by the sound of its footsteps. For example, with practice and awareness, you will be able to tell if a tank is coming towards the car floor without having to see it. This is an advantage because then you are sooner prepared for the tank, allowing you to shoot and take down tanks faster. These are just a couple of many reflexive advantages you can gain from having good multi-directional audio. Two common themes I will be highlighting upon will be the importance of maximizing opportunities to shoot tanks and also minimizing the risk of taking damage across all the members of your team. In order to maximize tank damage, you will have to consider various details such as teamwork, reload timing, positioning, communication, preferably voice communication with a mic, focus firing, and decision making, all of which I will be touching upon throughout the video. It's best to consider your team as a team of one player, not individually where you each have 100 health points, but instead one individual with a combined total of 400 health points. You want to play and make decisions which are best for the whole team, and not just what's of your own interest. As the mid position player, this means that depending on the situation, you will have to focus on either the common infected, special infected, tank, or be communicating to another team member. The tank rocks from the floor can hit you on the third floor. I often reload and move to the center of the bridge as the tank throws the rock. During the 3.5 seconds it takes to reload the rifle, I often also check the behind column in case anything may be climbing there. You can see I inflicted 50% of the total damage on that tank as the mid left player. You want to focus on maximizing tank damage. I recommend using the automatic sniper rifle for this position because of its long range accuracy. I think it's the most efficient weapon for this hold, whether it be for shooting tanks from afar, shooting special infected in the head, or for clearing column. Shooting tanks in the head don't do any additional damage compared to shooting them anywhere else. It's best to shoot at the center of their torso, where you have the highest probability of hitting them without missing your bullets, especially when they are in motion, for example throwing rocks. You see here, I'm trying to maximize my damage on the tank by repositioning. Every single bullet that hits the tank is very important. One bullet can be the difference between a tank hitting your team or not, which is significant damage. It is important to be careful when looking out on the edge. A smoker could snatch you off the bridge like this if you're not careful. This is the main reason why I suggest it is safest to pull back to the middle of the bridge whenever you hear smoke switch. As you can see, I am shooting the common as much as I can while also being cautious of my surroundings. I'm focusing on the nearest possible threat that could be potentially dangerous to the team as a whole. I'm not focused on shooting as many special infected as I can. For special infected, you want to focus on headshots in order to rid of them quickly while also using fewer bullets. You're trying to play as efficiently as possible. It's one thing to have high actions per minute and be shooting many things, but it's another thing to have high efficient actions per minute, where you want to aim for the head, plan your reload times, plan when you're shooting, and plan where you're going to scout and be aware of your surroundings. You're not focusing on what's happening, but instead, you're focusing on what will happen next. You want to not only know where the tank is, but where it will be going. Playing effectively and efficiently is not about an individual score game trying to get the highest score with special infected kills. When you're playing to benefit the whole team, you're actually benefiting yourself, aiming for the higher time. Sometimes I leave special infected half damage so that another team member can take the kill. I would do this if I see a new tank appear on the map. I get smoked here again. You want to avoid getting smoked by moving towards the center of the bridge momentarily whenever you hear the smoker scream. 
When teammates hang off the bridge, it is best to try and get them up right away, so they don't lose any health points over time. You can always scout the surrounding as you're picking the player up. Sometimes you may want to throw a Molotov or Pipe Bomb or ignite a gas can in order to help you recover. You want to recover as quickly as possible once everyone is back up. This tank will be approaching the car floor and it will go out of sight momentarily. You can see here, I shoot the tank as much as I can and then reload when it's out of sight so that I'm prepared with a full clip for when it appears again around the car floor. Though you did not hear it in this video, I am also actively communicating to the team with a microphone where the tank is and where it will be going. I also warn team members of chargers, jockeys, and tanks coming from the far left on the third floor, or coming from the stairs or behind calm if I'm unable to kill it in time. I find having a microphone to communicate to your team is essential for the coordination of your team. You can quickly communicate specific events and commands to your team so they know what to do in difficult situations. Atrium is a very dynamic map because there are so many alternative ways to handle a given situation. It is a map where anything can go wrong and very quickly. Once again, the middle position is responsible for maximizing opportunities to shoot tanks while also minimizing the risk of taking damage across all the members of your team. You should be constantly in action with little to no break. You're responsible for shooting first, the nearest possible threat that you know will be a danger to the team. Decision making and focus firing is vital as the mid player. Generally, the mid player will be concentrated on the tanks on the map. But when there are no tanks to shoot, it's important to be clearing common infected and special infected, so it lightens the load for other players. Sharing the responsibilities and lightening the load for other players is important, especially if you're aiming for a longer time. It can get pretty exhausting for the right player to be constantly clearing the stairs and the right side of common affected for a prolonged time. Giving them a break here and there changes things up and helps them keep focused. You want to help the team by maintaining a balance, so to keep morale up, especially for a long hold. Make sure to always be aware of your surroundings, despite feeling protected in the mid position, you never know if two chargers will spawn from the close left closet. Charger. It takes 45 bullets with an automatic sniper rifle to down a tank. You want to try your best to make sure you're hitting the tank with every shot. For times when there are tank pinches, what I do changes depending on the situation of the pinch. The best way to prepare is to make sure you know your surroundings and what you expect to happen in the next 5 to 10 seconds at all times. You don't want surprises to get you off guard. Sometimes you will have to call the team to focus on a specific tank or warn them about a danger. You may also find yourself taking the left tank as a bait sometimes because you will be the nearest to the tank. It takes practice and teamwork to hold effectively. Remember to be sensitive to your teammates and focus on the tanks. You will sometimes see tanks running across the bridge on the far end going up towards the safe room. For safe room tanks, I often put in a few bullets into the tank as it goes across the bridge. It only requires the two players to your right, the right and mid-right players, to kill safe room tanks, even if there are doubles. While the two players to your right take care of the tanks coming from the safe room, it is your responsibility as a mid-left player to make sure the stairs, close right pillar, and far right pillars are clear. This way, the two players on the right can safely and quickly take down the safe room tanks. If you find that the right side is clear and you know that it will be clear for 5-10 to 10 seconds, I would sometimes move over to the right and help out with the safe room tank. For tanks coming from the left, I get into position on the left side of the bridge, slowly moving backwards as I shoot the tank. The rest of this video is a demonstration of the mid-left position and how it could be effectively played out. If you are interested in seeing how it can be played with voice communication, you can see the link below of a 152 minute demonstration in the mid-left position. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm open to feedback so feel free to shoot me a message anytime. Take care guys!
Smoker.
Reloading! <laughs> 